Hi ladies, it's Dawn and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a video that I decided to make because I had some questions from, I don't know if they're people who typically watch my videos or if they just watched that one video. I think it's one of those videos that kind of brings in a lot of people on the title, like how to reduce dark spots. So people will come in and watch that video and not necessarily subscribe to my channel. And that's okay, they just want the information. But I've been getting a lot of questions on that video recently, and it's a video about how I reduce dark spots, hyperpigmentation, and things like that on my very fair skin because I am incredibly fair and I can freckle very easily in the sun. So I've spent a lot of time working on addressing that annually so that I don't have a face full of freckles. So. The product that I talked about in that video is from Palmer's and it's their Skin Success with the 2% hydroquinone in it. And you can get, or you could get, a 1% or 2% hydroquinone in skincare products over the counter up until recently. Actually, it started to change in 2020, but we're really seeing the effects of that change now and I'll explain that. So anyways, you could get a one to 2%, but anything higher than a 2% you needed to get with a prescription. And you could get hydroquinone, you know, with a prescription from the pharmacy. Um, Triluma is a popular product. It's like a Retin-A and a hydroquinone mix. Um, you could get, um, you know, just various products to help lighten dark spots and things like that. But um, over the counter, one to 2% was deemed safe and we were able to purchase it, particularly in the Palmer's Skin Success, which is a really wildly popular product, especially here in the mature YouTube community because anybody over the age of 40, you know, you're seeing the effects of the sun damage from your past and the accumulation of new sun damage. So it was a product that many of us talked about and it was a favorite product of mine. So every September, I would go in with a skin care regimen that would brighten and lighten those freckles. So some of you may have noticed that we can no longer get our hydroquinone over the counter, not even at a one or 2% anymore. And the reason for that is the CARES Act, which is the Coronavirus Aid Relief Economic Security Act, <laughs> the CARES Act. And what that basically is, is an act that was passed that is actually to help people economically and financially during this whole coronavirus. But if you know anything about politics, you know that when bills get passed or acts get passed, they are full of what they call pork, you know, and that is usually lobbyists who get things stuffed into bills that has nothing to do with the bill itself. And in this particular bill, they have deemed hydroquinone no longer, they didn't even say it's not safe, just it is no longer to be available in our over-the-counter products. I have a personal theory as to the reason why, and I will share that with you, and I think it's big pharma. We get it over the counter, therefore we don't get our prescription and go to the pharmacy and get our prescription filled and it's less money in our pockets. That's what I think. <laughs> but anyway, I know that hydroquinone has been kind of like outlawed in other countries for a long time. It really isn't, um, it is a safe ingredient when used wisely and at low doses, but it really isn't a clean product by any stretch. However, it is a very effective ingredient for lightening hyperpigmentation and I've always used it very safely. I would use it for a very short period of time to kind of beat back any hyperpigmentation that I got from the sun in the summer months and then I would just go in with other ingredients for the rest of the year and it worked like a charm. So I can no longer get it. And I went to Alabama recently, as some of you may recall, and I went on a very long bike ride and didn't have SPF with me in my bag to reapply. So I came back with dark freckles like on my face. And some of you said, oh, I really can't see them. But um, in person, I think you can really see them. In fact, we went to like a little party before Easter and my brother-in-law said, Dawn, I never noticed your freckles before. And I was like, ah, 
<laughs> so anyway, um, I did have some skin success left over that hadn't turned yet. And I did use a little bit of that, but I quickly ran out. And so one of you recommended a product to me that I was so excited to try because I read the reviews and they're all really great. And it's by Murad and it's their Environmental Shield Rapid Dark Spot Correcting Serum. And it is a serum, it's not a moisturizer. It has a pump, I like the packaging, it's plastic. It has a pump, no air or light can get into it and it comes out like that. I even hate to waste any of this because it is expensive. I think it retails for $72, but I bought it on the Murad website and I got 30% off when I signed up for emails. So, and a little goes a long way. So if I'm gonna even squirt any on me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use every bit of it. Um, and I've been using this product for almost a month now. One of you recommended it. The day you recommended it, it this has been rec recommended to me several times before, but I was always pleased with my skin success from Palmer's and Andalou Naturals brightening products. And I've talked about those many times on my channel and I'll revisit that soon. Um, it's very inexpensive, clean beauty. Um, it's great for maintaining bright skin. But I needed to do more than maintain. I needed to diminish. So um, I read all the reviews on Sephora, on the Murad. I did my research and I got this product and honestly, it worked like a charm. Now I will say that I did recently start um, using a glycolic peel from Oz Naturals weekly. It's called a peel, it's called a medium strength micro peel, and it says that it shouldn't make your skin peel. And I have very sensitive skin and it does not make my skin peel. It truly is a micro peel, but I can notice a significant difference in the softness in my skin and clarity in my skin after I use it. To me, it's kind of like a miracle working product. I did make an entire video on it, which I will link in the description box in case you missed it. So about the same time I started this, I started that as well. So it could be a combination. I use this four times a week, like every other day. And what this has in it is a patented ingredient, like so many products from Lancome, Estee Lauder, these big brands, they have a patent on ingredients and then they don't really have to tell you everything about it. It's kind of like their own technology. And so what it is is resorcinol technology and there's glycolic acid in this, which glycolic acid is known to diminish dark spots, improve skin texture and so on. Um, so anyways, I did do some research on the resorcinol and what it is, and it's a chemical compound, and basically it interrupts carolytic activity. Carolytic activity is when your skin starts to get like any kind of like hyperpigmentation is, um, you might just see a spot, but what you don't realize is that that is melanin and keratin and um, building up in your skin to make that spot. And what resorcinol does is it interrupts that activity. So that makes sense, right? I mean, I just did a little bit of research. I didn't read an article on this product. I just kind of Googled the, the um, chemical compound itself and read about it. So that's my understanding. I could be completely off base, but I don't think I am. It makes sense. And so that's what it does. And so within, honestly, like 10 days, the freckling that I noticed after the trip, particularly I would get one freckle that always kind of darkens up right here. And then I'd get one like right here. I can still see it in certain areas on my face where the little freckles that begin to connect. And when I have a photo taken or in certain light or in my car mirror, it's all I see. And I know I'm nitpicky, but you know, we all kind of nitpick ourselves, especially if you're trying your hardest to look younger than your age, right? And I'm not trying to look 20. I just and I, I just don't wanna look older than my age, okay? I don't mind looking 52. I just wanna look, have clear, pretty skin <laughs> at 52. Is that too much to ask? So I um, have been using this and I've been very, very pleased with it. So I wanted to tell you about this product in case any of you are missing your hydroquinone that typically does the same kind of, um, work on my skin is this in the same amount of time. However, 
the hydroquinone product was like $10 at Target. <laughs> you know, so I, I'm really going to miss that. Something else that I thought was a very helpful, and I haven't used it very long, but I'm going to mention it, is I use this serum and I use it morning and night about four times a week. But I've been also using something that I got with my points from Sephora. I had like 100, like I have a lot of points at Sephora, but I used 100 of them to get this CEO Glow. And this is vitamin C and turmeric face oil. I love Sunday Riley's products. I love Good Jeans. I love their Luna oil, the retinol oil that you use at night. It's a sleeping oil. It's beautiful. Um, so I have started putting this on my face sometimes over this during the week. Um, I'm careful. It depends on what foundation I'm using. This is an oil. However, it soaks in completely and it doesn't leave your skin oily and I leave it, I use it very sparingly. And I don't know that this has been making a difference because I've been using it combined with the other products that I mentioned. Once, um, like now that everything is kind of cleared up and my skin is clear, I might back off this a while just to make it last longer because it's expensive and just continue to use this. This is an expensive product too, um, but it isn't as expensive as the Mirrored product. So anyways, um, that's what I've been doing. Once everything is back to normal and I'm happy with the brightness and clarity of my skin, I'll start going back in with my Andalou Naturals, um, the orange range that I love so much. That's kind of like my daily kind of go-to that I've used for years and years. It's a brightening range from Andalou Naturals. Their purple range, the age-defying range, is also wonderful. Just for your basic skincare that you're using on a regular basis. And then I add in these extra serums and oils and things like that. So anyways, I hope that you found this video helpful. I hope it answered some questions if you've been wondering where your hydroquinone has gone. I know some of you have asked in that other video. So that's where it's gone. <laughs> you could probably still get it with a prescription. I cannot use prescription hydroquinone though in a 4%. I've tried before, I used the Obagi Clear and it made my skin turn really, really white and then I started getting welts. So that is a no-go for me. So I think you can still get it now with a prescription at a 2%, which is what we could get over the counter. Anyways, bye-bye hydroquinone and hello other ingredients. Thank you for spending some time with me and I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day. I'll see you next time.